of those who have decided to return or those those who are new this is very exciting we're doing youtube for those who don't know me my name is tash i created a blog called totally trash food blog and we've started youtube we've given it a go we're seeing how it's gonna turn out let's see it's exciting stuff so today i was scrolling through instagram as i like to do in my spare time and the little and vegan shared the Pareto Manger cookies and it's the dark chocolate and the almond butter cookies and anyone who has tried them knows that they were insane and then they just sort of disappeared I think they've come back but I'm not 100% sure because obviously everything's on lockdown I'm gonna give it a go I've never made it before I don't know if it's going to work but we're gonna try it and hopefully they're gonna be pucker because I want some cookies in my life so we're gonna film it as we're gonna go and she says Preheat your oven to 180 degrees. I can do that. So, it says, sieve the flour, cocoa, and bicarbonate. I can do that because there's no flour in the shops. And we kind of rob flour off our neighbor and we kind of do a trade off. I'm like, can I have this? Can I have that? And then they tend to just give it to me and I give them some food as like payment. And we stole flour, we didn't steal it, I asked for it. And I weighed it out and I had exactly 204 grams. And we need 204 grams for the rest. So this was meant to be. So if this doesn't work, the gods were not the most. So anyway, pop the flour in. I made the mess. Okay, so I'm weighing out my cocoa powder. And I only realized the other day that if you press the button twice, it makes it go to zero. <laughs> I've been knocking it off and on my whole life. Okay, 20 grams. Bang it in and half, 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 half. Uh, uh. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. How much? Half. So basically, everything dry and then everything wet. I, I can do that, that's easy. Okay. 43 grams of sugar. Okay, so now I'm just adding in my sugar into the bowl. 40 grams of almonds. Almonds. Salt. 112 grams of chocolate. Oh. Okay, so I put all the dried ones in one bowl like she said. So I'll pop that aside and then she wants us to get all the wet. What does she say? Um, in a separate bowl, mix together coconut oil, almond butter, golden syrup, and water, and add both mixes together with a with a with a with a with a, with a wooden spoon. Hundred grams of golden syrup. Hundred grams golden syrup. Press the button. 72 grams of almond butter. What an odd amount. Coconut oil. Hi, it's Tash from the future here. Just a little note, actually melt your coconut oil, just stick it in the microwave for a few seconds. Believe me, it will make your life so much easier later on. <laughs> you wait and see. Okay, thanks, bye. 65 grams. Organic. And then 40 grams of water, easy. So how do I combine that? with a spoon, this. So she says combine it all together. I've never combined such a, a mixture before. So we're going in with a wooden spoon and we're hoping for the best. I'm trying not to get all down my front. And then it just says add the dry to the wet. So it's pretty easy. Yeah, do yourself a favor, use a whisk. Fabulous. Easy. Okay, we'll combine it. Let's do this. Add it to the bowl. Hi guys. So basically, just to dummy proof the recipe, all you need to do is just get your wet ingredients in one bowl, your dry ingredients in the other bowl, stir and combine it, and then just pull it all together with your hands, stick it on a chopping board, cut it into eight equal pieces, and then roll them into balls, pop them on your baking tray, flatten it with your hands, and then you need to stick it in an oven for around eight to 10 minutes until it's just firm to touch on the sides. Peace out. I mean, they look exactly the same. 
and I haven't tried them yet because I had to let them cool. So we followed what she said and we cooked them for eight to 10 minutes, wait till it's like hard on the outside but still soft on the inside. And they smell so good. Should I try it? Shall I not try it? Yeah, obviously I'm gonna try it. So they're still a little bit warm, which is the best way. And they're like gooey, like the pret a ones as well. <laughs> yeah, they taste exactly the same as I remember them. Very fresh coffee, we have. So they are epic and they taste exactly the same as the Pret a Manger cookies. So they're the chocolate and almond butter ones that they sell. And we've tried a lot of cookie recipes that are vegan and a lot of them don't really they don't they don't really set up to expectations. They would go quite doughy. There's so much fat in these from the almond butter and the coconut oil um, and the golden syrup, like loads of sugar. I don't know what I would do to make them better. I think they're banging the way that they are. Me again. The next day I realised the cookies were far too salty, so I'm going to alter the amount of salt for the recipe that will be linked in the blog. And they're banging, so give them a go. We make a lot of vegan junk food here. If you like this, like it. I mean, epic. And go and follow me on Instagram. I'm more active on there than Facebook. But, you know, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to YouTube, and go and bake these epic cookies because oh my god they're so good <laughs> bye